so I decided to let you guys catch up with what I've been up to, what I've been doing outside actually um, shooting content on YouTube and posting videos, right? So yeah, after being pretty much traded, just that I got a little bit occupied outside my regular um, routine and then being able to like post more videos on YouTube. But yeah, I try as much as possible to squeeze in some time and then post in more videos. So um, what have I been really up to these days? I've been trading, right? I'm gonna show you guys the results. Uh, still making some money and then I was actually following up on a project that I started um, some years back So I decided to pretty much get it done and dusted with right. Um, I'll show you guys in a bit But aside that um, it's just been like living my regular life trading making money And I'm gonna run you guys through how last week was one of the very biggest week of my life trading wise, right? So um, last week uh, last two weeks per se we had uh, some fundamentals running in the market FOMC which massively moved the market into like a consistent one direction for a long time and then I was trying to catch the opposite directional movement for uh, that currency pair and I told you guys that uh, I was gonna catch for the people that actually follow me on Instagram I told them to watch out I'm gonna catch all those reversals and most people actually didn't really have that believe that Kojo was going to be able to do that but for the people that have been following me for a while they knew that it's somewhat a regular thing that I do right so I'll show you on the screen somewhere all the trades that I took and then the screenshots and then I much more than a thousand pip for those currency pairs tell you guys that one of the very easiest way to make money in this market is not necessarily coming into trade every single day right so if you're a swing trader you're literally catching swing points in the market and then this one can allow you to just have maybe a consistent amount of trades for only a single day in a week and then the rest of the week would, would literally have the market running in one direction what that means is that you don't have to come the next day trying to squeeze out opportunities again from the market you hold in that single trade that you put out from the beginning of the week or perhaps even in the midpoint of the week can continuously run through the weekends and then you book your profit and then you make your money so with that challenge account that i started that i showed you guys uh that i was i was going to take it from two thousand dollars to twenty thousand uh, dollars it's been a while that i traded on it but last week when i had time to actively sit by the chart i decided to um place some trades on it and then see how this account was actually going but let me tell you what happened with that account I actually had like some a series of losses. I wouldn't necessarily say series of losses, a few losses. I'll tell you how I traded my way out of those losses and then how I took that account back into profit and then even decided to process some withdrawals as well. So this is more of a psychological thing, right? So I'll tell you guys that if you're trying to flip a small account, number one rule is that you have to think as if you don't necessarily need that money right you cannot try to flip an account when you are so passionate emotionally attached to that account you're gonna blow it because um for the most part we don't always get our trades running directly into the position that we anticipated sometimes the market can move some couple of pips against us before putting us into profit so if you are panicking with that money that you're trying to flip and then start going in your direction chances are you're going to close it at a loss and then once you close it at a loss it moves back into your direction you literally lost that money the market is not going to give you the second chance to fill up your money you got to find money somewhere and then top it up which is like your resources going down and down right but once you have that psychological thought that you are literally risking it all out in the market every position is literally going against you when you did not necessarily anticipate what can you do about that you can literally relax take a breather and then watch the market unfold perhaps it can put you back into profit right nonetheless there is also a way to go about it when these positions that you are anticipating that it should eventually come back into your position is running more more and more against you right i'll teach you guys how to trade yourself out of those uh, um, losses when you have a position running against you like that right so here if you can see JBP USD I took a series of losses on that right but from there what did I do I decided not to revenge trade not to try and make that money back and so on right it was about 30,000 and then I lost about 5,000 with those trades so my account right that account was sitting at uh, 25,000 rand which is about $1,500 right so on from there what did I do I relaxed 
had a lot of patience and this week when i had those setups aligning for me went in hard and i was able to make as much as a thousand a ten thousand run right which brought the account back up right so i closed at a more ten thousand run profit with brought the account up so currently that account is sitting back and in profit with um a little over uh, five thousand rand in profit right i'll show you guys somewhere in the screen yeah so we have currently thirty five thousand rand back and i'll be looking to take uh, more trades and see how it can eventually still go so i told you guys that the purpose of this account is to see and act as if what we are literally living off on this market with this account so we have the obligation to protect this this account and not make us literally lose all the funds in this account as well as what continuously withdrawing any little bit of profit that we make along the way and then maintaining that buffer right so we're treating it like a petty cash if you're an accounting student you will literally understand what i mean so petty cash we're not trying to like make this account balance go anything lower than the thirty thousand. more so anything we make off on the thirty thousand, which is reasonable we're gonna what, withdraw it now to tell you what has actually stolen my attention from uh, shooting more videos on YouTube and what I've been really up to is um, this project that I started working on in 2016 right when I was done with my national service and then my university I started writing a book right it was about um, how uh, students can actually learn right and then be academically good i believe and still hold the perception that there is always like a formula to certain things right to blow up in in uh, um, trading you got to have like that consistency to blow up in your academics you got to follow some cue of some formula that's just my personal belief that if you want to be great you just got to follow a great man's shoe right so on that basis i felt like uh if i have done really well in my academics and then up to some point i've been able to like uh, go through the procedures or go through the stages right from jhs to high school to uni all all through to this point um maybe uh, maybe there was a particular way i was actually learning studying managing my time and resources and then the way i was being able to absorb information that allowed me to be able to like you know excel in most of my courses that i took uh, while uh, still studying so i decided to write a book to share it with people uh, that may find value in it right so this is the book right that is um, the rules of studying from an average student to a brilliant student, right? So I actually was working on getting this book finalized and uh, God being so great, I got it finalized. Um, so I'm now a published author, right? We're planning currently on the launching. It should be somewhere around um, Saturday, this coming Saturday. As I'm currently, as I'm shooting the videos, today is Sunday, right? Um, but we are today, Sunday, 27th of June. But we are looking at publishing this book, right? Doing the, the uh, proper occasion for our during it uh, the next coming Saturday, right? So it, it obviously contains a lot of nuggets that is going to um, help anybody that wants to pick up themselves, especially for students from an average to a brilliant student, right? So this is what I've actually stolen my time my attention from actually like putting out too much content and also because i've been seriously trading and trying to raise my trading account and then my investors account as well but yeah i'm back uh, and i hope to uh, shoot more videos for you guys and then uh, help you like you know become better traders in your own journey right so without wasting my time let's go into the charts let me show you the trades i caught the confluences for those trades and then perhaps you can learn something from it right so for many of you that follow me on social media especially instagram right which i recommend everyone doing at k-o-g-o-f-o-r-e-x could you forex i promised you guys that last week was going to be like one of the massive weeks for me in the market looking at how most of the currency pairs had aligned itself so i had about 13 currency pairs under my watch list we had one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen right and then most of them had ridden outrageously out of their trading ranges based off the back of uh, fomc news data that came out around last two weeks there about right so i looked into catching most of the reversal retracement from those huge movements that the market had traded the previous week before right so looking at a currency pair like let's say new zealand usd right we could observe what this massive sell-off that happened last two weeks right and then it cuts across most of these currency pairs as well the same for euro usd gbp usd right if you look through all of them you can literally find what massive sell-off in those currency pairs so based on that i decided that when a new week resumes and i find reversal confirmations around any of them 
in a key area that I literally look out for trees, which I teach most of my sniper entry students, then I'm going to go in long or perhaps short, depending on the trade setup that aligns, right? So yeah, I did that and I took most trades in Euro JPY. I had a very nice trade on it, which I'm going to put somewhere in the video for a new New Zealand Japanese as well. I went in around this area, right, when I saw some confirmations here and then some other confluences that I teach my students, right, I jumped in here for a buy and then literally hold, literally rode the whole trend, right, held and rode the whole trend or the whole, the whole swing point to catch about 183 pips on this one, right, I still have some few positions running on it as well and then Aussie dollar Japanese yen, also similarly to New Zealand, right it had the same confluence except for the fact that we had some support area building right here that i literally jumped in for a buy as well around this area when i had a confirmation so it was also pretty much a straightforward one-way movement direction sort of in the whole week and then that also accumulated about 150 pips right and then the same cuts up for almost all the other currency pairs that are traded so that's why i tell you guys that when it comes to this market you don't necessarily have to always look for trade especially if you're a swing trader and then every single day you're looking for a swing move because for the most part swing moves do occur only once in a week depending on the currency pair you're trading right that is respect with respect to every single currency pair you may have just a single swing move for that currency pair once in a while we may have the market moving in two directions in the same week but for the most part they will literally run in the same direction for the whole entire week so if you look at new zealand card right so if you sold new zealand card here as a swing trader then there wasn't any point coming in to catch what a buy position again just like i did so i caught itself from the very top and then rode it down there that also accumulated literally about 180 pips so yeah you can see that last week was a pip fold or pip failed week for me and i made a lot of money with people that joined my kuju forex vip as well right so if you're not a member of the kuju forex telegram community you gotta click in the link in the description to join the telegram community where sometimes i drop most trades that i share for the vip members for the community members as well and i do a lot of giveaways and teach a lot of stuff going on in the community you really want to be a part of this community more so if you're not following me on social media uh, especially instagram you gotta follow me at k-o-j-o-f-o-r-e-x which is kojo forex right so yeah coming into next week i have some few pos few positions that i'm also eyeing to go either short or long maybe i may shoot a separate video uh for those um, analysis as well so that you guys can have the same perspective or perhaps compare my analysis with what you are perceiving in the market and then perhaps look into how next week is going to go for you as well right so without wasting much time i'm going to end this video here and i'll see you guys in the next one